Hey guys, um, so today I'm making this video to uh, show you the uh, ECU shop uh, Monster Gate OBD scanning tool. Um, it also can display a lot of information from the engine. Um, in this video, I'm not gonna go deep into how the stuff work or what function it's capable of because you can read it from the box and from the manual. But I'm gonna show you um, how to use it to erase the uh, DTC code from uh, um, the DVF system. Um, so I provide the package with um, the DPF emulator. Uh, when we remove the, the, the dial pipe, um, we take out a uh, DPF. Um, if we don't have the emulator, it will always show here, um, check engines, and it will say um, uh, something wrong with the uh, DBF system. So with the emulator, um, and also I've done some of the coding, um, we can keep um, the gauge here showing um, the uh, percentage of, um, of the DPF. Let's say if I put the, deep, the the emulator in, it's gonna hold like around 0% for quite a while. But if we take it off, it will show full, uh, like pretty fast within five, 10 kilometer. And then um, it will start the regeneration process and pop out a lot of white smoke. So um, I will use the coding to uh, switch it to uh, manual regeneration, which means that even though it, it's full, it, it will not run into um, um, auto regen mode. And um, with the emulator outside in the engine, um, I'll make another video to show you how to install the stuff. Um, it will keep this thing um, in working conditions so uh, however sometime uh, because the emulator hold off the signal for, for, for quite long stuff like that it will sometime pop up the uh, check engine size here um, with the uh, following um, DTC code uh, 2453 2454 and 2455 and we can use this tool to quickly erase this on the go um, I also have another um, OBD clearing tools here from AEM. I can click on it, um, see no DTC, or I can quickly clear it here. And um, this thing would work on the same principle. So we plug it into the OBD and uh, you can clear the DTC code right on the go so um it's got two parts um the display screen this plug you plug into the obd um and then you will have the uh, rj45 cable here you plug in into uh this hole and the other hole is for um, um they provide another cable to connect to the computer maybe programming and stuff but we don't use it at all so just ignore it Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna plug this into the OBD and show you guys. Okay, so um, here we have the two um, plugged into the OBD. So it's got f uh, four buttons, two arrow right here, one function button, one cancel button here. So um, by default, it will show all the uh, live data of the engine, like the ECT, RPM, stuff like that. Um, you can play around with this. So um, in order to check for um, the um, DTC, you press this circle button and um, you, you click on it. It will read the DTC. If there's any DTC, you can just click on it again and it will clear it. And um, this is to check or scan or erase manually. So um, the other ways you can press on here, you 
you go around with uh, this, you have race mode. Um, you have race mode V1. V1 means for um, all other uh, vehicles. And V2, um, it's for Chevrolet vehicle. But um, we can hear all about the four. And also, um, you need to go to uh, DTC Brands, click on the circle button click on it so you have um, you can select the, the brands of the car that uh, will read specific for the DTC so right here I set it up as four already so if you set it up on um, yeah you can change the four Nissans and all other brands if we go to race mode, we set it V1 done, just leave it there. Um, leave the OBD plugged in so, um, whatever the arrow showed up, um, it will clear it automatically. So, you can set this and uh, let it run, or you can just clear it manually. Normally, if we have um, the arrow co come from um, the DPF system, it wouldn't run into the limp mob. Um, Sometimes I uh, record that uh, if you go to full and if you keep running for like uh, several distance, um, it will pop up here the uh, check engines and uh, also limit the power a little bit. So in that case, you need to clear it and also use the uh, um, OBD cable into the computer and reset that um, DPF filter gauges. So that's all we can do for the DPF system um, emulator. Okay, thank you guys.